I want to start now and introduce the Honorable Larry Taylor, who serves and represents us in the Texas Senate and was chair of the Senate Education Committee in the 84th session. Prior to his election to the Senate in 2013, he was state representative, again representing a portion of UTMB's communities for more than a decade. Senator Taylor was instrumental in securing the needed funding to rebuild UTMB after Hurricane Ike, working tirelessly on our behalf in Austin. He continues to advocate for issues close to UTMB's heart and mission, including resources to ensure a well-trained healthcare workforce, support for a treatment center for highly infectious diseases such as Ebola, and issues related to correctional managed care. Senator Taylor brings with him today a state proclamation that he has signed, along with two other strong advocates for UTMB's mission in Texas health care, Representative Wayne Faircloth and Representative Dr. Greg Bonin. Senator Taylor. Wow, what a great day to be in Galveston. I mean, this is such a beautiful facility. And, you know, we think back to Hurricane Ike and the devastation, those tours we went through initially coming through here after the damage and touring and the amount of damage that we had, it was really overwhelming. And to look at it today and, and where we are now in this beautiful facility literally is overwhelming. Uh, and I can tell you from a, from a guy whose family goes way back in Galveston history, like the 1830s, and went through the 1900 storm and those kind of things, to be, a, to be able to be in a position where I was able to help an island that means so much uh, to my family it was really a, it was quite an honor. Uh, I got to tell you, we have some special friends here with us today. Dan Branch is over here, Representative Branch, former Representative Branch, played a very key role in getting the funding for this facility. You know, there's a lot of goings on during, a, during the course of a session, and this was in 2009, immediately after Hurricane Ike. Craig and I have been working on funding. We had the multiple options we were working on, but we literally got down to the 12th hour at the end of a session. When we have deadlines, and they're hard and fast deadlines, our, our bill is somewhere lost somewhere, but Dan Branch had a very important bill to him that was still in motion, and he allowed us to tag our deal onto his. That's a huge deal, because we could have cost him his bill. And it literally got down, we were talking about this earlier, I think it was the last 15 minutes of the time we could get a bill passed. We passed that bill out of the off the House floor to get this thing. That was actually a conference committee report to get that thing done. And we had some very last minute people we had to argue off the floor and uh, coerce, please sit down and shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but it was done. And, and to go through that, people who come to this hospital for years to come will never know all that went on during this time and all the devastation that this area has suffered. They're just going to see a beautiful first class facility. But for all of us here, I look around the room and I see all these people that I've been working with all this time, and I've not been doing the work since then. I've just been watching it and just admiring it. I've talked to Dr. Raymer. He hadn't come to this building at all since yes till yesterday. It was his first time. He wanted to see it all done. And I guess I was kind of in the same deal. I was here for the groundbreaking. And you know, you couldn't even imagine such a facility as this when we did that groundbreaking. You remember that? I mean, it was just an amazing time. So to be here today and uh to be for the opening of this new facility that's gonna serve our community and our great state for many, many years to come is quite an honor. And I just wanna thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. But we do have a resolution that was signed by myself and Representatives Bonin and Faircloth, and it's fairly short, so if I could just read it real quick. Whereas members of the Galveston community are celebrating the opening of the Jenny Seeley Hospital at part of the University of Texas Medical Branch on February the 26th, 2016, Whereas over the course of the past 125 years, the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston has educated generations of outstanding doctors, nurses, healthcare professionals, and biomedical scientists. Moreover, it has provided excellent care to countless patients, and the research performed of the school has made significant contributions to disease prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. And whereas in 2008, UTMB was badly damaged by Hurricane Ike, and the medical branch received funding to build a new hospital with the approval of a state revenue bond, a straight tuition revenue bond, and a generous donation from our friends at the Seeley Smith Foundation. The resulting institution, the Jenny Seeley Hospital, will offer advanced health care services and state-of-the-art training for future health professionals in a well-equipped 765,000 square foot facility. And whereas with the dedicated efforts of its doctors, nurses, administrators, and staff, 
The Jenny Seely Hospital will greatly enhance the health and well-being of innumerable Texans. And it is indeed a welcome addition to the Galveston community. Now therefore be resolved that the opening of the University of Texas Medical Branch Jenny Seely Hospital be commemorated and that all those associated with the hospital be extended sincere best wishes for success with their important work. And this is signed by the three of us. Thank you very much and congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much, Larry, for telling the uh, history with Representative Branch. We'll hear uh, next from Representative Island, but actually one of the favorite pictures that I have in my office was sent to me by um, Dan Branch, and it's of he and Craig Island on the floor of the House in that closing, in those closing minutes of that session, surrounded by, I think, 50 to 100 other representatives from both parties when you all pull this all together and make it go forward. That was incredibly courageous, incredibly um, resourceful, and so, again, we wouldn't be here today without the way you guys pulled that together. So thank you so much, at the end. Thank you and Stacy for joining us today. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.